Welcome to WMAR 2 News at 6. I'm Brittany Verner. Jamie and Kelly are on vacation. The holiday shopping season is winding down, but for small businesses, the work is never over. Tonight, we're looking at how local shops and merchants keep their customers coming and how well we shop small this year. I really enjoy styling people. Today, Stephanie, an associate at Match Made in Hamden, is refreshing the mannequins with some new styles to attract customers in the post-holiday season. Being part of a local business means taking on a lot of different roles to keep sales ringing through a tough retail climate. Was there anything in particular y'all were looking for today? With rising inflation and a record year for online sales nationwide, stores like this get creative to find their customers. People follow us on Instagram and we always post different events that we're hosting. So we actually hosted a bubbles and Botox party. So the idea of the event was we offered special discounts in our store as well as discounts on Botox while providing food and beverages. Stephanie says creative ways of reaching customers is key to keeping their business viable. There was a good bit of people that came out for it. Even still, she says compared to last year, sales were down around Thanksgiving. But afterwards and like two weeks before Christmas, things started to pick up and people were making a point to shop locally. Down the road, owner of Baltimore Chef Shop, Scott Ryan, says the money they make is now crucial to make it through their lean times. We are just about where we were uh, post-pandemic in terms of the number of classes that we're offering every month. Even still, they are feeling the pinch of inflation. Our vendors all raise their minimum uh, to be able to deliver to us. And because margins are tighter with small business, he says it can be tough to keep prices for their classes the same. Infrequently, I think maybe uh, twice in eight years since we've been open, we've increased uh, prices. More to be on a parity with um, the other competition. You know, so everything's going up, and unfortunately, this is what drives inflation, right? The more you charge, the more people, you know, the more costs, and it just it kind of uh, snaking eating its own tail. Still, you talk to shoppers on the street and you will find Baltimoreans happy to keep it local. You know, it like maybe a little more expensive to buy local, but again, I would, I mean, the quality is nicer and I would rather give my money to a small business.